explore what lies beyond the galaxy. Let's check out this uh, new recruit here. Bringing the Krogan for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. All right, sweet. Activate the Krogan. All of this stuff. Lots of upgrades. Sniper, hell yeah. Weapon, expert, or specialist, whatever. AP sniper, ooh. Plus 50 against armor. Nice. Hell yeah, looks like fully upgraded the uh, sniper stuff then, I would assume. Krogan Vitality. I have plenty of resources there. Alright, cool. I don't really get the point of this, just to see what you've already got. It's like, alright, whatever. Got anything new to say? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Right. Commander. I'm more interested in just talking. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, right, Shepard. We'll talk later. Commander. Go. Messages. Elven tombs. What kind of game are you playing, Shepard? Buddy act with a gun on that service scientist. Find out you're working for them. Tests were done on me, it came in imagine. Got my own Mark team now. Kill any of them I find. If I run into you, don't expect to be any. Well, I'm not fucking working. For you, so fuck you. Oop. Uh oh. Who is this? Right after thank you for getting out of purgatory. Shipped around me up, but they didn't get weapons. Check. Good enough. Carve your name into a mine to the next victim. <laughs> Did take a shot at me. It's enough to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that. That anybody hurts you, you get ideas, you send a message. <laughs> Billy. Alright, we'll see if we run into Billy anytime. Is it true we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the cargo hold? Not a baby. He's a full grown super soldier, ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to birth him. His personality <laughs> is completely unknown. Anyway. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. To birth him? Alright, let's see first. Codex, all good. Alright, so what do you want me to do? Okay. That's where he is. Let's go do that. Bill regularly, yes. Not want to be wasting the 
At least right now we're upgrading everything. Back down the engineering. Crazy Jack, the engineers, in the pod. Where the pod is? Is it in the uh, locked off place here to the left, maybe? Is. Port cargo. It's just that, nothing else. Interesting, alright. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. All right. Stand by. I'm going to open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. I won't be second guest on my own ship by my own ship. <laughs> Do it. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Damn, that dude's massive. Holy shit. Human. Male. Before you die, I need a name. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. <laughs> I am Grunt. I if am you are Grunt. worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> uh, offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want... I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Alright, sweet. So he is free. Oh, he's not that tall now. Shepard. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. 
Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Let's see. Prototype here. Broken shotgun, alright. It's a Claymore heavy shotgun. Single prototype for grunt in violation of the console space weapon safety standards. Recoil is enough to break a human's arm. Fortunately, grunt is sweet. Shepard. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of Nothing them else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Alrighty then. I haven't talked to this guy in a while, mainly because this area of the ship? I finished all this stuff, but That's see if he's anything to say. Logging you out, Shepard. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash. Planet side. <laughs> this mission takes me back. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Alright, yeah, so he's done talking to me. Doubt she was anything to say, but we can check. Doing crazy. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. <laughs> I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. Fucking capture card. <sighs> Didn't give one shit about me. Listen to that again. It's hard to imagine you. I was looking for. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. What do you know, Cerberus lapdog, military stooge? You do nothing but live for other people. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. If you really <laughs> liked that moon. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. 
Victorians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. <laughs> All right, on to go up one level, talk to the rest of the crew, which we... The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile, but engines are good to go. Come on. See what they got to say here about, uh, Crazy and the Krogan. I gotta check uh, what's next to my journal too, because I don't think there's anything else. Start a second playthrough to unlock bonus power, uh, powerful bonuses. All right. I know I was checking out. Uh, bonus powers which I can get right now uh, I was looking at which ones I want to unlock I didn't even see if pool was an option uh, if it was I probably ignored it because I didn't think pool was cool but I'm actually liking pool quite a bit so that's actually in there now the other one was uh, what's it called dominate I think you like it too I just got a message from my wife not only do you do damage to people over, with any type of armor <laughs> but you start regenerating health and that sounds pretty cool Shall see. Alright, I'm not even going to the dock, fuck it. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. Garrus and Miranda. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle <sighs> the of some fuck? calibrations. You never wanted talk to talk. You later, I'll be here if you need me. Miranda gonna talk. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Fine. Of course, Commander. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Assemble a team. Thus far, that's it. If there's anything else I can do. Right. Let's check it out. The blood pack. Pretty vicious. Hence they're the blood pack. Right, come on. Talk to uh, I'll talk to Kelly. I'll even talk to Joker. I haven't talked to Joker in a while. I probably won't say anything because he's Joker. Whatever. Might have to go to the uh, place back the there to get the. To to you in the there it is, debriefing. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, so this is where I have to go. Oop. Encrypted transmission. See you awaking, Nick Rogan. Dangerous decision. You got free reign. Will be useful. You've got my support. Front proves unstable, has to be put down, don't lose the body. Well, fuck you. What do you guys say about Grunt? I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. That'll be all. Well, I'll be here if you need anything. Nope. Let's go talk to Joker just because, and then I'll go back and talk to uh, 
military dude who's here, whatever his name is. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? <laughs> hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... Uh, you won't understand. You collect stray cats as a kid? Because we really needed a Mega Krogan, so thanks for dragging him home. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change any... Okay, a little too far there, but you know what Your I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. Alright, so I've already said that. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alright, cool. So there was a little bit there. Wait, why it... Oh, that's airlock art. Right. Anyway. Time to speak to the stupid guy. Oh, you know what? No, I wanted to talk to... Did I talk to him already? Not since I opened the Krogan, but Commander, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Can I help you with something? I'm more interested thing. in just talking. Already? I'm yeah. not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. What do you think of the state of the crew? There he goes. Yeah. Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? Really? We'll talk later. Commander. You're not liking the crew, Jacob? Well, I mean, you're pretty fucking useless to the crew. Bounce. Alright, message terminal. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morden delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. I'm pregnant. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. It's Morton. Alright. Tell me you have something. Yes. He's oddly quiet right now. <laughs> I 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Never know what's hiding around the corner. Right. We've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defenses are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run! This guy's like pretty fuck cool. So they're not robots from like look, let's see. I don't need to go robot heavy here or synthetic heavy. I'll check out what that crow it has. Control. Very interesting. Now let's check out what this dude has. Info. Concussive shot. And incinerary. Nah. Don't need him. Go with him. He has everything and her. Uh, I mean, I do like... Full shockwave. He has concussive and that grenade. Shockwave is kind of a eh, It's really just about pool, honestly, which even that, yeah, I'd rather have these two. For now. Got three to burn. Okay, I'm already assassin. Uh, could go for there. Tactical cloak, I don't give a shit about. Yeah, about that. AI could start leveling up, which I don't really need to Let's save for the incinerate. She, on the other hand, plenty to do. Give her a flashbang. I'd love to flashbang her, if you know what I'm saying. That was hilarious. Burns at higher temperatures, doing more damage, or splash zone. Uh, yeah, I'd rather do splash zone, bitch. Yeah, alright, cool. Let's 
far as my heavy. Yeah, I'll keep the projector for now. Fuck some shit up. Headset wires were fucking bothering the shit out of me. Let's see, what you got. I always like to just look pretty really quick, so I kind of get used to it. I can't read what the fuck that says in the center. I have to like kind of know what that is. That's your ammo, so you keep that on. That's your grenade, so grenade. Grenades are in the center, which is nice. There's your concussion. Have mine on. Alright, cool. We're ground side. Mort, you sure these armor upgrade? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. That doesn't sound good. Experimental technology only test is contact with seeker swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. <laughs> Thanks, Morden. Ah. Collector Guardian who? Barrier. <coughs> Headshot, bitch. Headshot. We're all back here. That one can get. I don't even know where it is. Just for the hell of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you just completely missed like a dick. Alright. Anything to loot around here? Just that. Got a pad. Alright, so we got the white alternating. There. Fuck me. Well, I couldn't help it. I got in my way there. I couldn't help it. I got stuck in the corner. Well, shit. I'm not getting that. All right. Continue on through here. That ship's blocking communications. We're on our own now. And now my capture card is trolling. This is new. Heavy weapon! Get down! Let's see. Go ahead and. Now you see me. Down there, you can go ahead and do that. Do not toss it. Fine. <laughs> Shit. Sweet. Hey, you going all sweet, Val. 
gotcha. Now that's a sweet. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden. The Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Looks like Mr. Elusive was right. The collectors are working for the Reapers. Mr. Elusive. <laughs> Pad, wherever the fuck it is. There. Nothing else. All right. Got the ammo. Blue barriers are really confusing me. I'm seeing blue. I'm like, yes, let's loot it. Ed collector. This looks interesting. Heavy skin weave, nice. This thing used to be human, didn't it? Is it one of the colonists? Huh? No. On Eden Prime, victims were impaled on giant spikes to turn them into husks. I haven't seen any on Horizon. So the collectors had the husks already. They want the colonists alive for something else. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Evolve. They die just like anything else. The Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. You heard the man. Let's move. This is creepy. Where'd they all go? Everyone's gone just like before. Look and look. I don't know where the drone is. There's a drone over there. There they are. Oh, they're not grouped up. Oh, that one. That one is. Hell yeah. Where's the other guy? That one you can kill because you get buffs for you go after people with barriers and shields, which is actually very nice. You would think the opposite. There. Alright, this little fucker. Barring your cut is shot. Beautiful. How you kill him? Check stuff to loot. Up there. No? Alright. Your own. They're making the same sounds as the uh, aliens from XCOM. Bypass safe. Alright, so circle, vertical, link, horizontal, horizontal, link, vertical, circle. Right. Ah. Get you. Oh, what? Dick. Fine, you win. You're going down, bitch. Anything to pick up here? No. And hop out the window. Let's get ammo here. Hmm. Stuck in stasis, but still aware. Tack like this could save me a lot of trouble on a job. They've been like this a long time. Good. Make sure it's not the way I'm supposed to go. Uh, loot everything. Hack these computers and all that. Nothing else here. There's a the computer right there. Alright. Wall of white text right there. And. 
Ah, oh, you moved at the last second. Alright. What you gonna give me? Some credits. I love thunderstorms. That looks pretty fucking awesome. Except for the hole, you know. Everyone's gonna die, I think, but uh, who cares about that? We're all back there, but let me just check. weapons. That's alright. I believe there's something back here that I didn't get because I went into the other building. Take particle beam. Nice. Holy shit. Sweet. So we'll test that out. I'll use it for now because Kind of glitched in the sense that, uh. Oh, it is there, okay. Never mind. I thought it would switch back out to the other one. No, it's still there. Alright, cool. Effective against shields and barriers, uh, less effective against armor. Whatever. It's a computer. Credits. Get him away. Up. It's up. Nothing. All right. Continue. Nothing else to loot. Just the door to open. See, link, vertical. Um, they're all basically next to each other. Weapons locker.
company. Get out here, now. You're... you're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here. You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda, to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. That mean nothing to me, though. Would rather she just stayed back in council space. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers online, but mark my words, there's more to it. If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. Please, just give us the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Alright, let's see anything else in here. Door. Lydium. Already got good weapons. Wall safe somewhere. Reds. Meds. Alright, so, out this way. Up ahead. Don't see where they are. Get shit on. So 
that's it. All right. Yeah, I am liking this squad. Although the military guy, just as a person, I don't really give a shit about, but because it's incendiary grenade. All right, so I gotta go in there, get some stuff. Or not, nothing's in there. No, nothing? Alright. Yes, door. This is valuable. Nice biotic damage. That's why you look everywhere. I thought we'd run across more of those frozen colonists. Not that I'm complaining. Probably packed onto the collector ship. I was about to say, now. I probably took them. Looks like their job's almost done. Computers to hack. It's alright. Nothing else here. Go back down. Alright, let's go bypass the door here. Vertical, link, link. Circle, oh shit. Alright, let me try it again. Why'd I hit X there? I don't know. Link, link. Circle, circle. Vertical, vertical. Wow, these ones are all right next to each other. <laughs> right. This looks very, very shitty. Coming from Scion. There. You can't get there. You can't get there. But that one. Going dark. Oop. Uh oh. Because <laughs> legs off. That was nice. Alright, shitty shitty shit shit. Uh how about we go with Grenade, grenade. Dead. Well, I switched my sniper. Oh. Hello. Actually. Oh, you can't do that anyway on him. Yeah, you can. Scion. So, how about you work on that guy back there? I just ever shit. Yeah. Alright, you little dick. It's on. Punch and shoot. Punch and shoot. Ah, uh, died. There it is, the transmitter. First, let's go ahead and loot everything. Oops. Oh well. I really wish there was a quick swap button between my weapons. I just swore there was in the first game. There might even be one here, I just don't know what it is. So I checked the outskirts first. All oh, this stuff. Nice, got some salvage. Alright. Can't get in there. At least not yet. Don't need ammo, apparently. All 
Alright. Nothing on that side. Up here. Just this, alright. I'll need ammo. Attack the computer. Alright, so white, and then the whole line. Okay. Oh, fuck you too. There. Let's see, a whole paragraph of this. Right there. There. It's easy. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Let's load up. When the collectors notice, we'll have a fight on our hands. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. <laughs> Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Alright, so... Let's not have a sniper. I'll get my SMG. Hello? Oh, beam. Fuck with that, beginning. Heavies. Where are they coming from? We are assuming control. Where are they me. Nice. They will be as we are. Nothing stands against us. There is no pain. There is no fear. Oh my god. Wow, I am dead already. Don't kill me, Shepard. We are your genetic destiny. I'm getting gang rushed here. Holy shit. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I just got gang rushed there, holy shit. At that point I just fucked. I got the dude in front of me, and I got the two or three people behind me. No way out of that situation. I gotta pick a spot and just stay there. At least we have the grenades, which actually takes care of these uh, large groups. So we've got two of them. Let's go with that. You guys have the right. Uh, you're gonna want the SMG. Switching weapons. This will put him down. This hurts you. Why did you not? Oh, I hit the wrong person. That's why. But company. <sighs> This fragile. <laughs> These people are fucking running right past us. All right, collector, you asshole. All angles. Alright. You know. Yeah, I guess on him you can do that. Going silent. Nice. You will not stop me. Alright, fuck it. Sniper time. Can you fucking take cover and not just stand there? Like, holy shit, dude. My attacks will 
Can't do it against the armor. Well, that's not who I'm targeting. I'm targeting. Also, throw a grenade though. Oh, that helps. Nice. Alright, drone. That was chaotic. No way is that all. There's gonna be more. Great. Here's a good spot. Thank you. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at 40%. More of them! We sure are popular today! Back there. <laughs> Bitch. Little husks you guys can deal with. Husk somewhere. There is. Best. You cannot resist. Good, she killed him. Ah, I reload. Damn it. dead right now so that's good so you can go ahead and toss that to those guys in my way thank you for blocking my shot did I do that all right ammo somewhere at one don't get cocky I bet Damn. there's more coming up here. We have the heavies too. I have to remember I have the heavy here. It's a good time to use the heavy. Eating. We need that system online. What the hell is that? Oh, I was going to totally fucking sent her too. Yeah. He's not on the ground long enough for her to get that. Anymore. Firing anti-ship batteries at collector vessel. There. There you go. Boom, boom. Armor basically will be down in a second. No more armor, bitch. <laughs> Right. Holy shit, what was that? Most of the colonists are on board. They got No! Don't let him get away! 
That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I did my best. You just hid in your damn bunker. Could be a lot worse, buddy. If it wasn't for the commander, you'd all be on that ship. Shepard. Wait. I know that name. You didn't say sure, Shepard, she said Commander. You. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. Our reunion has to wait. Cerberus brought me back to stop attacks like this. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Of course you already knew. Worst kept secret in the galaxy. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance. Can't take your eyes off Cerberus long enough to see the real threat. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. Sounds like you left Reason behind a long time ago. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. She's not gonna... <laughs> no, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Two more squad points. I've mine. The particle beam. Nice. Biotic damage. Heavy skin we credits, platinum. Lots of stuff. Colony defense. Really, the end of it was a tower defense. Tower defense of the defense towers. Yep, using the ammo powers. So we'll see what's next here. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. 
The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You are... We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to them. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. All right. I guess we're really going to do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? All right. Oop, well, somehow I got on top of the table. Okay, so we got some more, uh, ooh, stutter dossiers. Hoping to get to another hub world where we can get some uh, side quests. Check Normandy Mail. All this to go. Retrain powers. Oh, really? You can do that. I did not know. Lots of shit to unlock. There it is. Will you retrain your powers? Cool if you can. Element zero. Can't do any more, can I? Oh, you can. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna be using a lot. Let me make sure there's anything else. It's that. This is Palladium, and that uses Element Zero. Uh, yeah, so that uses Element Zero, though. That's cool. I'm not going to use it right now. That. Get by activation. Let's upgrade the shit out of everything. Hell yeah, 50% damage from melee. Well, melee doesn't, whatever. Still, I'll take it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Don't have enough element zero for that. Alright. Lots, lots of stuff. Other random shit to pick up here. So, updates. We'll talk to everyone again. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. You got anything? 
Commander. Really? Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my Hey, duties. there's a loyalty. Nice. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. <laughs> this was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. All right, sweet. Got that. Go. Check messages. Can you help me? The line soldier gave contact information. You said you were trying to stop collectors. So my brother. Right. Hey, the line doesn't do anything. The console is doing. It. I beg you, tell me something I can do. Shadow broker intel. Where is your friend Yara? Ooh, uh oh. Hunting shadow broker. I remember shadow broker. Mind helping her in that hunt, given the shadow broker's past work with Cerebus. Uh, the collectors, I mean. Are they covered the nation? Ooh. Fortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerebus. Sweet, so it looks like we'll be looking at a. Uh, Commander, you've Liera. received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you later, too. Time for the worst part of the game here. <laughs> the multitude of loading screens as I go through my ship. Talking to the crew. So the Shadow Broker, I'm pretty sure that's another DLC. Act foes, attack targets for you. Sometimes. <laughs> now for the Shadow Broker, you get a stasis, a bonus move. And I was thinking about using that. Actually, that was my plan. I very quickly just looked at what moves there were, abilities, and I was going to use that. But then, like, right before I streamed today, I double checked it. Uh, whatever it was, Reeve or Dominate, one or the other. Jerry is the one with like the health stealing thing. That sounded pretty fucking cool. I think I might actually just go with that. It doesn't really matter too much. You can always switch out enough resources to do that. So I'm going by and stopping to every well, okay, she does need to be talked to. Miranda does. Still waiting for her loyalty mission. Yeah, it is. 
I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. Nice. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. Interesting. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and Ilium. hidden from my father. Same place as Eliara. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Alright. And so you still got Garrus who we need. And uh, crazy down there. Yes. Well, I'm thinking they probably only give you two at a time. Although who knows, we'll see. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Talk um, to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. And stuff's go down crazy. Let's see what she's doing. Fucking loading screens. There we can go do something. The mission accomplished achievement. Twenty five percent bonus experience for all your characters. Yeah, whatever. Does it matter? Right. Let's go to Krogan, that's right. Krogan might have something to say. Runt. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're alive. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> Much point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind. Well, something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Alright, interesting.
Head on down to Crazyville. Hey. I won't talk though. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Oh, really? Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because... Hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. Figured. People always want something. Well, what? Right now, then? I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. All right. Here. I always go to the opposite one first. No one's in my cabin still. All right. So then, state of the art thermal clips prevent overheating. Yeah. Right. Let's check out what we want to do. Probably a side quest or something. I don't know. We can look at that journal. That's right, I want to talk to uh, Kelly and Joker too, just see if they have anything to say. Though I doubt it, but we'll see. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. Do you have strong feelings for her? See, I mean, she's reporting back. I don't care, I'll be honest. Ashley's an incredible woman. I didn't like saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Anything new? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Right. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment? I always to talk? have time for you, Commander. Alright. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll go talk, talk to Joker.
Hey, Joker, anything new? Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than two years. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Let's check out first of all codex, yeah, whatever. Journal. No side quests are all here. All right. Tally, just a car, assassin. Yeah, what's this? Oh, these are side quests. That's right. Yeah, I know. Assemble team. Yeah, let's go try this. Jacob. Actually, let's do Miranda because, I mean, he's the one that I actually use. Back on the mount. Okay, there's a mount truly right here. Good. Jacob. Wow, everyone is in this fucking crescent nebula. <laughs> They're all on fucking Ilium, holy shit. Alright, well that tells me Ilium is gonna be a nice hub here. Alright, sweet. Classic Garden World, developed to serve as the... Right. Product safety, blah blah blah, it's not in the sorry world. Officially, same level altitude towards humans. Youngest Asari colony. Now reaching the firstborns are now reaching the middle age. Ooh, that means there's gonna be a lot of sex for me. Girls hot and massive. She said. Mount celibate's only possible at higher polar attitudes. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Go ahead and land. Check out this hub world. If you're out of clips, you can't fire. Really? Would have guessed. Come on. Let's see. Not that it really matters, but... Let's go back with the old crew here. Those two. Five points. Shit. So I'll probably go ahead and take that then. D, so we should blast. Blast zone. It's only 40 more damage, and this is twice as much. It's over twice, yeah. Blast. I think it's one point. Can't do anything. She should have a lot, yes. She get from this uh, giving increased combat bonus to damage. Ooh. Increased squad health. You know what? I'm just gonna go boom, boom. Hell yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> All right. Particle beam. Uh, I might keep the particle beam. I can't. Is this? Oh, this is the only sniper I've got. Really? I'd like to get new snipers, cause I'm gonna reload every shot. Well, get this. 
God damn, I love Mass Effect. Awesome! Alright. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. Damn right. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Alright, Miss Concierge, let's see, uh... I'll need to be a dick. Who instructed you to waive the fee? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid Liara. all fees on <laughs> your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing any. <laughs> What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. Nice. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Her servants, really? You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have sure any recommendations would. about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the gal- I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Yeah, it will. And yeah, my girls. We're going shopping, girls. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. I don't know who Lawson is, but... You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Salvage operations on the Salahi. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it. Your Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Alright. From the last game. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will I was gonna see, is that, is that the Rachni Queen? It is. It. Nice. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. 
I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful. But I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. I mean, that's pretty freaking interesting. Definitely, I think it's a, it was a good. Uh, <laughs> definitely, think it was a good decision to save the Ragnarok. Oh, Shepard, the news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Okay, yeah, so... That's the one decision I wasn't positive about, which I have here in my choices, uh, thing. So, alright, that's just verified right there. Sweet. I do remember. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. Damn right you do. That I do. Have a seat. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking here. They already know I'm after them, so I'm it's not a fucking them. secret. <laughs> Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Oh, she probably... I was gonna say. Had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Sorry, merchant smuggling schematics. Can you talk her to show me stuff? Well, it depends what you mean by the good stuff. I could definitely make her show me the good stuff. I'm looking for the best tech upgrade. Okay, so it's have. just this one. Of course. Welcome. 
You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we special talking about? Special items. Oh, you know. Schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Hmm. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. You know what? In times like this... See, I mean, she was so nice to me. She gave me a beer and everything, too. But, I mean, you know... She's a merchant, this chick is, and she can give me some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. <laughs> I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Alright, good. No matter what, she would've got caught. I was gonna say. By the damage? Alright. Bypass module? Decent. I don't really care about that, though. Sure. But... Now what's this? I won't buy that yet, just because it's not I as important. Minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing so ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. Damn right they do. I mean, wait, what? No, of course not. I don't know what you talked about. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. All right. Oop. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Oh, right then. Let's see, uh, we can head in there to the door. What's over here? Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps a dent you check can help. Map. 
We heal. All right. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Troublemaker. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Alright. It's up there, on your way to go. Other club. Hey, wait, what was that listening? Where, where was it? I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. <laughs> I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. <laughs> All right. No one there. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? Oh, is this my, uh... Conrad my Brenner? fan? We yeah, met it on the is. Citadel? I wanted yeah. to become a specter? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. <laughs> I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, creeping. huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. This guy. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. I'm Batman. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, <laughs> if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. Wife. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. <laughs> so, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. You said that. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about <laughs> it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. <laughs> I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. 
That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, Asari Matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. <laughs> Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. <laughs> Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. They you killed said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. <laughs> yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. <laughs> I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That That's was me. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work <laughs> out. Then one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. <laughs> Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. All right, sweet. All right, guys, and with that, uh, I'm going to be ending the stream for tonight. So thanks, guys, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that follow button. It is the easiest way to show support for the stream here because, of course, it is free. Now, uh, for anyone who wants to go the extra mile and whatnot, I do have other links that you can uh, go to to uh, give some certain things. Like, you know, you can donate a game via Steam. My Steam name is RJB Entertainment. Uh, I have my wish list as well as my uh, gifting link on here on my Twitch page. Uh, I also accept monetary 